Right, hello folks. Uh, what I've got with me today is a, a gun bag that I purchased now that I'm starting to do some ratting. The range had a problem with rats. It's had problems actually over the years. And Dennis and uh, Phil, in one year they shot 400 between them. And the, the numbers have built up again. Uh, we got a skip it was emptied the other week and the lady rats started running out of it so they wanted uh definitely wanted to thin out so they've asked me to do it and i think there's one other as well so there's four of us now getting rid of the rats there's 15 acre site where we are and it's a kids football club there at the weekend so the last thing we want is rats running around with kids about and uh, causing disease and things like that so what I, what I decided was to get a gun bag that I could use when I'm sat in the car to rest over the window. So that's what this is based on. Can be used as a front bag if you want, can be used as a rear bag. But the idea, is it's a saddle, basically. If my arm's a window, you just sit over the window, it stops your car getting scratched and it gives you a good rest. Now it's a really good price I thought, it comes ready filled, uh, it's got like plastic uh, marble type things in it. It's made by uh, One Tigris, uh, so it's, it's like I said it's pre-filled, dimensions of this one is 4.2 inches across that way, 12 inches or 31 centimetres long. The weight is 18.8 .8 ounces, 533 grams if you want the new ter terminology. It's made out of 5000 Cordura nylon and the colour is multicam, like most of the modern day militaries wear now. So I've got a marine car, it don't really match but there you go, do not matter does it. That is the gun bag for resting over your window. Now, the price, I got it from Amazon Prime, I just looked look for something, I think I typed in gun bag for car windows, and this this one came on, I thought it looked quite good, and it is. I think the recommended price is around £25, but at the moment it's on at £19.98, so if there's anybody out there that, that might shoot out of the car on a permission, or they just want a gun bag, for a front or rear rest. It's quite a good product. So I'll, I'll leave the uh, the link on the information part of the YouTube page. That's about it really. What I did do, I got I got a, a message from a, a member, that's Paul Oldershot, 79. This is probably ex army, back in 79, I don't know. Maybe he'll, he'll tell me. But he's got the one leaf and he was saying that he couldn't he couldn't get it to work at night. Well, could be a couple of problems. I know he's new to it all, like he actually says. I'll, I'll show you the information soon, what I've got. But what, what can happen, it's, it's happened to me before. If you've got a scope cover and you, it's a sort that of flips backwards, what that can do, it can block the torch beam that's sat at the back. So if you've got a night vision device, instead of having the flip up covers that comes on top, just turn it around so it flips out to the side rather than the top. Otherwise, that'll, if it is working, it'll just block the beam and you won't see anything, even when it's switched on. Because basically on the one leaf, you press the button in and it will remove the internal filter off the lens. Uh, that, that then reads in infrared but it needs the infrared torch to illuminate. So if the if the cover does have to flip up and block the view of the torch, that's all it might be. Otherwise, I've, I've, I've left instructions on how to do it. You basically, at the back of the camera, it's self-explanatory, it says IR. If you keep your finger pressed on that, not, not just press it and take your finger off, but keep it pressed on, you'll see it change from colour to black and white. So then you're at you're into the night vision mode so as long as he follows those sort of rules it should be okay 
failing that, if he has got a problem with uh, either the torch or whatever, they do come with a two year warranty. So uh, they are pretty good. So uh, that is it anyway. So uh, first up, like I say, this is the uh, the window bag I'll be using for when I'm shooting. The model for the uh, for the bag today is the Gamo Delta Fox that I bought my daughter when she was ten. Uh, <laughs> funny story, really. Uh, went back to school after Christmas and it was like a show and tell or something or what did you get for Christmas well there was no way she was going to take the rifle to school but she says oh I've got a gun and nobody believed her she'll go and have a look But uh, yeah, she carried on shooting and uh, she's quite a good shot actually. She doesn't shoot so much now, but it, if ever she wanted to, she can. So there we go. So uh, up next, just a quick video on how to uh, bring on your night vision uh, on your one leaf if you've got one or a pod. So this should work the same. So, and the next time you'll see me, hopefully, I'll be out on the range shooting rats. Or it will be the range test shooting the Reximex uh, regime because uh, the last time I did the pellet testing at 40 yards, I didn't realise at the time the choke on it was switched forward, so it was only doing seven and a half foot pounds, so that's why it weren't shooting accurate. And that's 40 yards of all the pellets. Uh, there was only one that was doing it, and that was the JSBRS, which is a light pellet. So I'll either be doing that if the weather's right or be a night shoot or early morning shoot when it's dark looking for rats again so uh, I'll catch you then Okay, I was asked how to get into night vision from the colour mode. Somebody's got one of these and you weren't quite sure you couldn't get the view at night. So on the back of the uh, one leaf, the left hand button which says that IR, you press it until the screen goes black and white. So you keep it, keep it pressed until it changes. So it's in black and white now, that's one, one uh, long press of the button and if you look at the top right of the screen it says IR1 so it'll probably put the, uh, the actual uh, camera off now but I'll, I'll show you what, what to do anyway each continuous press of that IR button puts the intensity of the torch light up so I'll try it once yeah that's working two times, three times four times five times and six times obviously I'm doing this in daylight but if it was night time you would, you would see it brightening up and then if you press it another, one more time it goes back to one again and a continuous press of the button brings you back into colour mode uh, also on the actual uh, torch itself what you do you can just get the torch and you can pull it out and that, that focuses the beam and it has got slight movement up and down right and left as well but that focuses the beam that is the night vision how to switch it on how to change the uh, intensity of the light and how to focus the beam on the one leaf <laughs> 